Hello guys, and today I'm going to show the comparison between the 8th gen and 7th gen of Intel Core CPUs. So before we start the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. The 8th generation series of Intel CPUs is the latest one at the time of making this video and was initially released in 2018. Here, in this video, we'll only be taking a look at the laptop versions of the CPUs and looking at the most popular versions of the 8th and 7th gen CPUs like the i3, i5 and i7. Also, these are the CPUs that you'll find in more traditional laptops and not the ones that you'll find in other gaming laptops and such. We'll be taking a look at and comparing these CPUs in these categories including specs and performance, the price and value and the availability. So without any further ado, let's get right into the first category which are the specifications on both CPUs. In this category, there is actually a significant bump in the specs in all the different variants of the CPUs. The most baseline and cheapest model of the Intel CPUs is the Core i3 which I would say has got the least upgrades. The 7th Gen i3 is a dual core CPU meaning it has two cores and a base clock speed of 2.4GHz on most laptops. The 8th Gen model of the i3 doesn't bump the specs much but however reduce the base clock from 2.4GHz to 2.2GHz to save battery life and can even boost up to 3.4GHz when at high lows. But one big improvement is that it supports hyperthreading which means that even with its two cores, inside of a game or program, it can act like a 4 core CPU giving it much better performance. For the i5, the upgrade is much more noticeable and I would say it has the biggest bump. With the 7th Gen i5, you get a dual core part with 4 threads and a base clock of 2.5GHz. The 8th Gen model really increases everything as this time it is a 4 core CPU with 8 threads and a base clock speed of 1.8GHz to improve battery life. This means that almost everything has been upgraded and this in turn gives much better performance. The highest end version of the models is the i7 and in the i7 II we see a very noticeable upgrade. The 7th gen model comes with 2 cores and 4 threads along with a base clock speed of 2.7GHz. The 8th gen model of this like the i5 has upgraded the cores from 2 to 4 and from 4 threads to 8 threads and significantly reducing the base clock from 2.7GHz to 1.8GHz. This is yet again a significant upgrade on paper and overall even in real life all the CPUs show a big boost in performance from the 7th gen to 8th gen. The next category that we'll be taking a look at is the price and value associated with the CPUs. The price for the laptops available with these CPUs are in different price ranges and of different types. The Core i3 CPU laptops are the cheapest coming in at around $350 to $500. In this, the prices for the 7th gen parts are actually pretty much the same as the 7th gen and therefore, if you can, the best choice should be the newer CPU. The i5 and i7 also have a similar case as in both have laptops that are in different price ranges but here also, if the price difference between the 7th gen and 8th gen is under $100, I would definitely still recommend getting the new 8th gen part. Therefore, as the prices of the 7th gen and 8th gen are pretty similar in most online websites, I would say that the value is also on the 8th gen side. The last category we'll be taking a look at is the availability of the laptops with these CPUs. The 7th gen laptops in this case have no problem as there are many great laptops available with this CPU but for the 8th gen here, the story is different. The 8th gen i3 has the least availability as I have only seen a few laptops with the CPU whereas with the 7th gen, you can find many different laptops on a budget. For the i5 and i7, it is a bit better than the i3 but it still is not quite as available as the 7th gen and therefore, in terms of availability, the 7th gen takes the point. So the final verdict for the comparison is that the 8th gen CPUs are definitely a big upgrade from the 7th gen CPUs and for a small price increase in some cases, I feel like they are without a doubt the best options for you to buy. Even so, availability is a problem as in some cases, you won't find an 8th gen laptop for the correct price but even so, the 8th gen Intel CPUs is the way to go in terms of getting a new laptop in 2018. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.